A small town of Beulah shocked tonight after an overnight shooting put one man in the hospital and two others behind bars. News Science Katie Blaze live in our Pueblo studio and this was a case of mistaken identity, Katie. Yeah, that's right, Elizabeth. The Pueblo County Sheriff's Office tells us the two men in jail tonight, Theodore Thurman and Henry Thurman, mistook a newspaper delivery man for a burglar. Locals tell me in the last few weeks there's been several thefts in the town and it's put people on edge. Cars are being stolen, things are being stolen out of yards. Beulah resident Karen Ermel tells me the Quiet Valley rarely sees crime, but that's changed in the last month. We've had a little spree over the last couple weeks where um, there has been some thefts happening in the middle of the night. And it's led some people to take matters into their own hands. I believe everyone is in shock that something would happen in this peaceful community. Early Friday morning, an incident began on Pine Avenue. The Pueblo County Sheriff's Office says a man inside a house saw a car pull up in front of his home. The man, a victim of a previous theft, thought the thieves had come back. He yelled at the car when he heard shots fired and it drove away. The man then called his neighbors to help look for the suspect vehicle. Two neighbors thought they saw the vehicle and fired shots. The passenger of the car didn't get hurt, but the driver was hit. He managed to make it to the fire station for help. Turns out their vehicle was a newspaper delivery car. And when something like this occurs, we're all speechless. Debbie Rose tells me she knows all the people involved. The man shot and the two suspects, Henry and Theodore Thurman. Those two booked for attempted second degree murder, menacing and assault. My heart goes out to both. What my plea is, is that the Sheriff's Department really put some energy and effort into resolving what started the situation. To well, the sheriff's office encourages people to not put themselves at risk if they see something suspicious. Instead, call law enforcement. This is an ongoing investigation. In the meantime, I'm told Beulah will be establishing its own neighborhood watch program. Always watching out for you, Beulah. Katie Blaze, News 5.